Hello everyone and welcome to your workout with Roxanne. Today I've got a 50 minute arms and abs kettlebell workout. In today's session we've got 13 exercises, working 45 seconds on, 25 seconds off. All of these exercises have been designed for beginners in mind and I'm going to be guiding you through the whole workout. I am going to be displaying the weight of each kettlebell in the preview for your reference, but you guys use the weight that's right for you. If you guys are enjoying these workouts, then the best way you guys can support me in this YouTube channel is by hitting that subscribe button and hitting that like button. And if you guys are already subscribed, then thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. You guys are also going to need your mat and some water in today's session. And then when you're ready, let's get started. I promised I would wait for you, but I'm getting so impatient. Hold the kettlebell on each side of the handle and focus on using your waist to twist that kettlebell in a diagonal angle. Hips stay facing forwards and shoulders down away from your ears. Keeping your arms straight with a slight bend in the elbow, your eyes are going to be focusing on your hands the whole time, twisting from the waist using those obliques to move the kettlebell in a diagonal angle. Keep those hips forwards, shoulders down, and think about drawing your belly button into your spine, tensing those abs. Peeling your spine up off your mat one vertebra at a time, you are then going to punch the kettlebell forwards and then slowly return back to your chest. Then lower your body down slowly one vertebra at a time whilst keeping both your feet flat on the floor and your hips grounded. Making sure that your spine is imprinted, which means your back is completely flat to the mat, your ribs are tucked in and you're drawing your belly button down. You start with your hands over your shoulders, knees over your hips and at a 90 degree angle. It's like we're magnetic. Money 
as you curl the kettlebell, keep it into your side. And then as you sit up, you're gonna extend your arm up to the sky, making sure that you've got even distribution on your hip bones and your feet are flat on the floor. You're then going to lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time, whilst lowering the kettlebell and extending your arm back out straight. Put your money where your mouth is, boy If you think that you got it, don't stop Hands up, put your money where your mouth is, boy If you think that you got it Hands up, put your money where your mouth is If you think that you got it Peeling your spine up off the mat one vertebrae at a time. Control the movement, inhaling as you lower down, exhaling as you lift. Grounding both of your sit bones and keeping your feet on the floor as you lower and lift. Sky is beautiful and so are you. I wanna make it up to you, start something new. Yeah, I've been thinking of the parts I play for you And how I'm drinking from the bottle as I do It's like a long dream You're on the wrong team Oh, there's a lot And there's a fun Coming out of me Every time I see Keeping your kettlebell as close to your head as possible, making sure that we are stabilizing the spine. So draw the belly in, tense your abs and pelvic floor. Slight tuck under the tailbone and you're gonna be squeezing your glute muscles. Control that movement and take it nice and slow. So I can do what this and make us both forget Only to start it up and play it out again Oh, there's a lot and there's a fun coming out of me Every time I see As we are bending and extending the elbows, making sure that they are facing forwards and they are pinned in to the side of your head. Inhaling as you bend, exhaling as you extend, squeeze the back of the arms. Our torso is completely still, we are tensing our abs and squeezing those butt cheeks. We want a nice neutral spine, shoulders down away from the ears, drawing the belly in. Hands are under your shoulders, knees under the hips. As you exhale, you're gonna hover the knees off the floor and pass your kettlebell under your body. Inhale, you're gonna lower down. 
make sure we brace the core each time we lift those knees and pass that kettlebell. Sitting on the mat, make sure your hip bones are grounded. Heels are firmly planted into the mat. You're gonna slightly hinge back, activate the core, draw the belly in, press those ribs down. As you exhale, you're going to fully extend your arms by your ears. Inhale, control the kettlebell down. Tuck that tailbone under and find that C shape with your spine activating the core. Keeping your elbows pinned into your sides. Exhale, you're going to curl the kettlebell in your bicep curl. Inhale, you're going to extend your arms out straight. Our core is not moving and we are holding that half roll back. Your spine is completely flat to the mat, ribs are tucked in, abs are on. Inhale, you're gonna tap one toe down to the mat, keeping that knee at 90 degrees. Exhale, return. Elbows stay pointing up to the sky. Inhale to bend, exhale to extend. Feet flat on the floor, hips are heavy. Tuck the tailbone under, roll back until you find that point of no return. Then you're ready to twist. You're gonna twist from left to right, eyes following the hands, and then focus on using your waist to lift and lower that kettlebell.
Well done guys, thank you so much for joining me today for your 15 minute arms and abs kettlebell workout. I hope you guys had a good session. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you all again in our next workout.